certainly is good news. Antoinette, the Brockton police officer who was shot four times, uh, came here last night and was released sometime early this morning. And we have a great photo to show you this from the city of Brockton of the officer uh, healthy, it appears, being greeted by the mayor and the police chief. Uh, they say that he was in good spirits after being released from BMC earlier this morning. Sources tell five investigates the officer's name. The officer who was injured is Officer Robert Otis. Now, last night under police escort, he arrived at Boston Medical Center after being shot four times in the leg and hand. But again, this morning, he was released and is doing well. The officer was injured responding to a call on Tabor Avenue in Brockton around 545. The Plymouth County DA's office says several shots were fired from a second floor window of a home there, and that's when Officer Otis was struck. The alleged gunman was inside the home for hours. He eventually came outside around 930 last night, and that's when the standoff ended. Preliminarily, it appears that the male suspect shot himself outside the home. He was transported to an area hospital uh, where his condition is, is that we believe he is currently that he is deceased. Now, police found a man, a civilian, shot inside a silver SUV parked outside that home on Tabor Avenue. He was pronounced dead at the hospital, and officials believe that the victim in that SUV was shot by the alleged suspect. And we now know the identity of the gunman. Uh, the DA's office releasing his name, 32-year-old Kevin Serpa, who lives in that Brockton apartment where all of this happened. And the man found in the SUV is identified as 28-year-old Christopher Gomes of Brockton. Now, officials at this point believe that this was not an act of random violence, though not many more details have been released about what led or what the circumstances were to all of this violence last night in Brockton. Live at BMC, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.